ladies and gentlemen. Undreamt tunas and mayhems and thwocks. We're taking this bribery. Oh, Josh actually, Josh. Good old fashioned. Hold on, let me close this real quick. Pop this open, make sure we're open correctly. Okay. Old Joshy boy, Josh VS himself. If Oath is in the first seven picks, take it and build around it. All right. Oath of Druids it is. I'm going to put this in the stip so that we can get it done. Add com. Stipperino. All right. Here we go. It's too bad Josh isn't here to see it, but, you know. Guys, I got some sweet some sweet green Yeezys today. Hold on, I'll go grab them so I can show them off on the on the stream and you guys can you guys can you guys can laugh. They're probably gonna get they're probably gonna get get green screened out though. All right, if we're uh, Oath of Druidzing. So no creatures, right? We want to have like two creatures in our deck. So. So. I wonder if Carnage Tyrant's good enough to be one of our creatures. Thran Dynamo is probably the safest pick here because I don't know what else we're doing. Yeah, so, all right, we're on the same page here. Terastodon is a good one to hit. I think it's Terastodon. I also like the idea of Elspeth because, like, we're trying to minimize the number of creatures we have, so we want other win conditions. Guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for these Yeezys? Look at these! Look at these bad boys! Oh, they're they're so green that like you can't even see them. Hold on, I'm gonna take this filter off. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! Look at these crazy! Look at these crazy greens! Yeah, these look much sweeter than they did online. So I was actually worried because I was like, are they gonna be too green? I don't know, but they actually look sweet. I'm actually really liking them a lot. So. That's been your, that's been your shoe talk today. Take Terrastid on here. <clears throat> Invisibility shoes. Uh, do we like Tooth and Nail? I mean, we got Oath of Druids, right? They're gonna have more dudes. We're gonna Terrastid on. Uh, Elron Scrubbered, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Jojo MK, thank you so much for the resub. You guys are thank awesome. You. you guys are awesome. Um. So, thank you. I'm trying to figure out. Buster, thank you. So <laughs> thank you so much for saying thank so. You. Oh man, it's too bad Undrop Tuna wasn't here when I said. Was she? Did she know that I said the name yesterday? Because I feel like that would have been a big deal. Because you kind of got me. You kind of got me. Kid Cabbage, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Oh, dang it. I don't know if that's better or worse. Oh, Ashen Rider seems great for this Oath of Druids. Oh, man. <laughs> Can I just call you Andrew? Is that... <laughs> is that enough? <laughs> I yelled about it! <laughs> oh, dear lord. Oh, god. I'm real uncomfortable right now. It's getting... It's getting hot in here, guys. I'm really surprised that Twitch allowed you to get that username, because that's hilarious. I mean, I, I'm not going to be the one to say anything, but I feel like that if, if someone was like, hey man, this name is uncomfortable, they'd be like, okay, we're going to have to have you change it. Ain't going to be me, though, that's for sure. Okay, Drew, we're going to do that. That's going to be a lot, that's a lot more uh, stream-friendly, we'll say. Oh, is it ooze? I don't want to, I don't want to Oath of Druids and just get trash. But we can't take, like, Swords of Fire and Ice either because, you know, we're not going to have creatures. This is Primal Command? Meh. 
not excited about it, but... It's just skin, Steven. Oh god, what is that from? Is that from Cable Guy when they're playing when they're playing the game with the, his parents? Yes. Yes. I didn't know I was going to play Porno Password with your mother. Yeah, that's a good that's a good movie. Um Caitlin, for some reason I've always called you Undrum Tuna and I don't know why. Primaris Powerhouse, thank you so much for the resub. You are awesome. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Do you want these lightning greaves so when we get these guys into play, we can just suit them up, put some shoes on them? Lingering Souls is actually pretty good. I like Overgrown Tomb as well. Kate was my favorite Fallout 4 companion. Well, you know what they say. I, I don't, but I assume you did, so. It's either one of these three. I'm gonna go with the greaves. Uh, Savannah seems good. Yeah, Savannah's probably better than anything else. Disenchant? Disenchant is definitely uh, main deckable in this format. It is because Undrum Tuna is a great username. I agree with you. It also it also inspires lots of questions like, what happens if someone dreams you? Winds of Abandon. Alright, maybe we're just green-white Oath of Druids. Wow, well, that's... It's helpful, but it's rough with Oath of Druids, because I'm like, I don't want to hit this off of an Oath of Druids. I want to hit one of these guys. Mayhem, yes it is. Yes it is. It's going on until at least the end of the year. Although, I will warn you that I'll probably postpone, like, serious deck stuff until, like, after the cube, because I love to maximize my cube time. And usually, usually people are okay with that. But I just want to fore, forewarn you. Could be Emrakul. I'm just really like underwhelmed with Emrakul. Cause like it's great when you cast it, but once it's in play, you're like, well, you don't have Annihilator. What good are you? What have you done for me lately, Emrakul? The answer is nothing. If someone dreams of me, I die. Oh god. So pressure's really on now. I guess it's just Oblivion Ring. Ugin. That's a nice threat. Ideally we get like one more big thing. So then we have like three tooth and nail targets. We have an Ugin. We want <laughs> I that worn power stone would have been nice. Grave Titan. Hmm. Well, we have a Savannah and Temple Garden, which are nice. We have no way to cast these black cards, though, so we're just really hoping to... <sighs> Oath of Druids. It's nothing Nothing else in this pack is great. Enlightened Tutor can go get our Oath of Druids. Gives us a second copy of Oath of Druids. I, I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, let's do that. It also gets uh, Oblivion Ring if we need it. I actually don't like Avenger of Zendikar as one of your targets because if you Oath on turn two and then you get Avenger on turn three, you're only going to have two lands in play. So I was like, oh, I'll get two O ones. Sundering Titan could be a dude. Yeah, Sundering Titan's definitely a dude. Oh, I like four mana Karn. All right, this deck is interesting. I have no idea if this deck's going to do anything. Shambling event. Vivian Reed. Alright. Another also a banishing light. Not to be confused with Oblivion Ring. I like a Vivian Reed. I feel like planeswalkers are gonna be great for our deck because we're trying to minimize our creatures. Although, let's be real, Vivian Reed's plus one is going to uh, find us lands most of the time. Kate's foul mouth is actually true. That's hilarious that you actually 
like I'm impressed that you could that you could make that reference. That's all I'm gonna say. Balance is interesting because we're not gonna be playing a lot of creatures. Does Drew not know how to play magic? That would be awesome. I would actually love to help you teach him. I'm gonna take this balance. I just assumed Drew knew how to play magic. Which maybe is my fault. Worm Coil could be good. Mirari's Wake is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just take Wake. I don't think we necessarily need a Worm Coil Engine. <laughs> These Far Boys, or Fat Boys, either one. Cause I've got heartache by the numbers. I wish we had some some fixing for our black mana. Uh, still think it's probably ultimate price. I don't think it's flicker wisp because oath of druids. So I'm gonna take ultimate price here. Bane Slayer Angel is not terrible. If we're going to hit something with an Oath of Druids, I don't think Baneslayer is the worst. That was also an extremely late Hymn to Torok. This, this just doesn't do anything for us, unfortunately. You just take it anyway. Look at the seven cards. Exile one face If there's a creature, you may cast it. Like, that's the only thing it does. Parallax Wave is interesting. Vanishing Light came back. Alright. Not bad. So now if we have Winds, Oblivion Ring, and Banishing Light, it's not bad. We have three creatures so far, and these are them, so. How many Planeswalkers? Garrick, Vivian, Ugin. Well, fudge. I'm going to take this Ancestral Recall, and I'm going to find as many ways as I can to play it. Because it's an ancestral recall. Oh, Karn, I did overlook Karn. I'll play this Manamorphose if it means playing this ancestral recall, guys. Oh, Woodfall Primus? Hmm. I like that better than Terastodon, I think. Breeding Pool? That lets me cast my thing. Also, none of these cards are super exciting. Gideon's pretty good. I bet Gideon tables, though. That's my that's my prediction. I'm going to take Breeding Pool here. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to take the Terastodon out for now. I want to let you know you can switch the pistol for a weapon so you can carry two guns and buck. Are you for real? Are you for real right now? That changes everything. Why didn't Mike say that? Why did I have to use the stupid pistol? I guess it's because I, I was only using the non-pistol so that when I went to switch my gun, it was switching the non-pistol. So if I had the pistol, that's what it would switch? That's fucking my... Why didn't Mike say anything? What a dummy. I'm going to take this Jace the Mind Sculptor. Now we're going to be banned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's unbelievable. I can't believe he didn't say anything. I bet he doesn't even know. I bet he's like, I'll just keep the pistol. That's just your default weapon. I could have had the sniper rifle and the, um, what was the other good one? I can't think of the name anymore. Oh my God. That's so frustrating. He's fired. I'm just going to take this Boros Signet. Gideon seems good here.
What a dummy. I'm going to take this Jason Lyons sculptor. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I like Garrick Wildspeaker here. Maybe we don't even play this. I don't know. I like this breeding pool. If we can get... I wish we took a Windswept Teeth. What did we take instead of Windswept Teeth? Do you guys remember? It was a while ago. Bayou? Don't like... Don't like that. No. Don't like that. Tristani could be decent. Sun Titan seems kind of meh. Girl Sigma, I guess. Man, none of these lands are, are helping us here. Knight, I guess. God, maybe we don't play the Ancestral, guys. Is that, is that greedy? Is it greedy to play it? We also have Manamorphos we could toss in this beast. Still only three creatures. Woodfall, Primus, Ashen Rider, Sundering Titan, all of which are insane with an Oath of Druids. So I'm okay with that. God, Chase the Mind Sculptor too, though. Dang it. I'm really... It's really... I'm just sad. I'm just really disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I like Golos, but I really don't want to hit Golos off of a off the Nether Druids. I still think it's the pick, though. Leovold. I'll just take the Leovold because because I love Leovold. Sword, sure. That's what my dad's. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what everyone's dad says. That's a default dad meme. I'm not mad, Caitlin. I'm just disappointed. Okay, well that's worse. Look at this slender. She oldered. You are you playable? Jace is a little greedy. The problem is we have no real fixing. I still think Ancestral is worth it. I don't think Jace is. That's my I wish either I wish the Azorius Signet came back. I would definitely feel good about it. I believe you once taught a life lesson about Ancestral, and it went something like this. If you're not blue and you draw Ancestral, not, you can't type it Ancestral, though, because that's that's a totally different thing. Uh, guess what? Now you're blue. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I also don't I don't mind Manamorphos here, just as like a, a can trippy, filtery boy. Um, I think we're just going to play. Yeah, I think we'll just play Manamorphos. It's just one extra blue source, right? I want to add one island. Six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven. So this is what, 12, 13, 14, 15? That doesn't seem right. Six, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's add that. That's even parts. Wait, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> it incestual is not legal in any format thankfully that is correct well, i guess we'll just play it one more white All right, let's do it. This deck looks sweet. I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Okay, well, I'm going to mulligan this hand because we don't do anything. This hand is absolutely worse. I think we just mulligan to... You know what? This is what we got to keep, unfortunately. We're going to get rid of this guy and Vivian Reed. This, is, this hand is rough. It's not ideal. If we draw a blue source, we got it. Come on. Come on. Wow, Gala. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Boy, that's a one of. That's a one of, my dude. Interesting. All right. Well, that's that's something. Island off the top, my dudes. Woo, boy. I mean, they can still do something here. I wasn't like, I don't really care about the mocks that much. Like, they get to play something this turn, which is fine. But like, if they have like Wasteland or Strip Mine, I think the Crucible was more important to get rid of. But we have two four mana Planeswalkers here, so they can't really stop us from from Planeswalkering. Oh, they just tapped it to do nothing. A classic. Don't mana tithe me, bro. Don't mana tithe me, bro. It is Wednesday, my dudes. It is Island Off the Tops Day, my dudes. Oh, all right. What'd they give me? They gave me Tooth and Nail, and they... What? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Coercive portal, sure. Well, thankfully they got uh, rid of that, uh, you know, the thing. Let's reel the top two again. Enlighten Garrick Relentless. You just give me all these planeswalkers? Operator, can you help me place this call? I can't find the number that you just gave me. Homage, draw your card. And we have two blue for Jace, two out of the three blue. Come on. That's pretty good, but I, I ain't gonna have no creatures, my dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't find the number that you just gave me. I wonder, I wonder if I want this enlightened tutor. Thank you. Steven C, thank you so much for the resub. You are awesome, my dude, I appreciate you. You can go Enlighten Tutor into Oath. The problem is that doesn't do anything anytime soon.
They only have one card in hand. Pretty good. I guess they're giving us Marari's Wake. There's no way they gave us Ugin. Wow, they gave us Marari's Wake. Oh boy. Oh wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. Yikes. Now we have four blue, it's true. Okay, well. Oh wow, we would have just gotten both of these. We could just tooth and nail, put both in play. Or I guess we one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. We'd be we're just two away from actually just hard casting both of them, I guess. Oh, did they just concede the match? Huh. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, got him. Okay. Good good match. Good match. Everybody fought hard. Someone Someone just commented on YouTube and they're like, can we call Mike Bubby Brewster? <laughs> I'm like, you know what? That's all right. Let's do that. Mike is Bubby Brewster from here on here on out. I'll keep this hand. This is much better than the previous one. I can tell when I genuinely enjoy a game is, is like when I want to when I want to play it. Like I don't think I'm gonna be able to play Brawl Strike tonight because Mike is playing in a poker game, so I'd be playing it by myself and that's not cool. Um, so we're gonna be playing tomorrow and Friday, but um, I can tell I really really genuinely like a game when I'm actually like looking forward. I'm like oh, I just want to play some Bioshock. I want to see what happens. Oath of Druids. I've not seen Disenchant in a while. I, that's a card I haven't seen in a long time. Which Bioshock? I've been playing Bioshock Infinite. Oh. Do I even play this? Like, there's no reason to, right? Like, they don't have a creature out. But what if they, what if they get one? Oh, it resolved. Oh, Jesus. Oh, an enchantment against the red-blue deck? That feels good. Okay. Okay. Fascinating. The sniper rifle is way better. Yeah, that was my impression, too. He's like, I think he was just trying to make me feel better about it. He's like, it's all right. Don't worry about it. We're playing against Wet Boy 420. That's something. Okay, so Oath of Druids and Mirari's Wake resolved. Huh. What's happening today? What are these matches we're playing? Oh, Jesus God. Do we think our opponent has a family? There's something in our eyes And it happens every time Gonna kill all your stupid mana Wompy, 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 wompy Isn't that the way they say it goes? Oh, just forget all that And give me the number that you can find it 
I've just called him to tell him I'm fine and to shoot. Let's go to the next game. I'm gonna go to this. Gonna kill your things. Gonna. Oh. Oh. Okay. That it just wasn't real. But that's not the way it feels. Guess we gotta get rid of greens. Get rid of that. And then this guy leaves, so we gotta get rid of two more, unfortunately. So we got four we got four mana right now. That took a hit, but that's okay. They get to Oath of Druids. So that's cool. Let's see what you randomly hit. Inferno Titan! Oh, dang. I got Oblivion Ring. I've overcome the blow. Learned to take it well. No, I'm good. Balance. That's not the way it feels. I hope their next creature is not as good as Inferno Titan. Uh, Mike B had to work. Michael B had to do his his work. What? You got Ashen Rider in your deck? What the shit? What is going on here? Well, this sucks because all three of our creatures are, are not in our deck anymore, so... Uh, I think we died. I think we just lost the game to our own, to our own Oath of Druids. Like, these are the three of our creatures, right? What does it say? Uh, oh, is it a May ability? No. That's not the way it feels. Man, this is this is tricky. I thought we were doing so well with this tooth and nail. I guess we shouldn't have gotten Sundering Titan. Wow, can you imagine? I can't find the number that you just gave me. Let me guess, you got lightning strike? Fucking Christ. Uh, I'm always having issues sleeping. I'm 
Take out the Greaves. Let's play 41. I'm crazy. I'm a maniac. Um. Sure. You gonna give me that Ashen Rider? Sure. Yeah, like when last time I went to bed at like four thirty. Um, I woke up at around eight, so I got three and a half hours of sleep. I couldn't sleep, so I got up. I did some work for like three hours. I went back to bed at eleven, and then I woke up at like four thirty. So like. In total, I got like nine hours of sleep, but it really just fucked up my whole day. I just can't get enough. I mean, sleep is definitely not overrated. I am definitely uh, someone who... Uh, bed is only like three years old, if that. Well, that's pretty good. Well, that's dang good. Um, if we had one more mana, we could actually steal this Garrick and Mirari's Wake. Watch him give me Oath of Druids just as like a, that's hilarious. <sighs> Seems good. So this is gone. All these are gone. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty well organized.
two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so balance. No bueno. Um, All right, I guess we're just going to pass here. I have nothing to respond with, so we're going to show and tell. We're going to tap three and sack our flooded strand. Yeah, my haircut's rescheduled for Friday, and uh, now I have to find a new place to live. So, four, five, six, seven, mere battle sphere. Okie dokie. That's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can go one, two, three. This doesn't hit enchantments, right? It's just lands, artifacts, creatures, and cards. No, it's just land, creatures, and cards. So we could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We play a land that's worse, though. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven. Hmm. Go Gideon, balance, and then we have six cards in hand, so we still have to discard two cards. All this seems worse. Ugin isn't great here, thanks to Battle Sphere. Mm. This is actually tricky. It's not these, it's not these. Right? It's, we could balance, lose a bunch of cards. We could also just get a Vivian. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Doesn't, what does that do though? Like one, two, three, four, five, kill this, Vivian dies basically. Thank you. Choose four cards in your hand to keep. One, two, three, four. Jundasaur, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay. Seems good. So we have two planeswalkers. Fascinating.
Okay. I assume you're going to loot. Thankfully, we have no artifacts. It'd be really sad if he had, like, a uh, Sundering Titan on board. Yeah, Karn makes uh, an artifact creature. I just can't get enough. Oh, Sundering Titan. Speak of the devil. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I guess they can just crack us this guy. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, so we're gonna play a land. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's play an Ugin. Yeah, that seems good. So now they put an Ashen Rider, they exile Karn, and then they kill Ugin. Inferno Titan also works. Hmm. Oh. Oh, you're just going face. Oh, what up, Kerwit? Let's get Baneslayer and Woodfall Primus into our hand. And then we'll put Ashen Rider and Woodfall Primus into play. And we'll Woodfall Primus this guy. Bane. Um, does it matter? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm scared of Krakus here. It's one of their white sources, and we can also start attacking with Gideon eventually. That's cool. I'll take two.
Interesting. What up, Lama Goyf? What up, Nerdsta? Thank you. Yep. Kretsch Jr., thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Huh. Nine cards in our library. What do I want here? Primal Command? Maybe. I don't think we have a way to get this shoulder into play, unfortunately. Fourteen months. What a time to be alive. Fascinating. So we just get in here. It is punishments day, my dude. Oh, Terrasidon might be better than Shouldered. Thank you. I don't even know. Llama Goy, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Night of Autumn also seems just fine to draw and cast. <sighs> I agree with you. I agree with you, Bredicus Maximus. Bredicus Maximus Decimus Meridius. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, buddy boy. Sometimes you just have your two card combo. Mothers, don't let your babies grow up to cast recalls. I'm Sedis and Frank is my second longest channel. I've been subbed to Rooster Teeth is the longest. Why is that sad though? That seems good. I'm all right with it. Tally, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. What up, y'all? We're doing some cube drafts. Oh, get rid of that Ugin. I feel like we just have the same deck, only they're blue red and we are uh you know the other colors that they are not so we get rid of this we go down to six then we go up to nine then we go up to ten 
Then we play a land and an O-ring. We'll have to discard one. Is that even worth it? Big <laughs> I feel like if you're a big fan, I should probably not be rated by you because it will probably backfire in some way. That seems uh, like like the uh, the likely outcome. Really appreciate the raid. You are awesome. Look at all these look at all these artifacts we got going on here. What's even happening right now? All right, let's just. Oh, is it Dyn? Oh, is it Dynamo or is it just one of these planey boys? Murray's Wake is OP. You're right. You know what else is OP? Ancestral Recall. Let's let's play this Garrick, and then we'll untap. Wait, who's the Legend? What's happening right now? Are we talking about John Legend? John Legend's great. Is that true? You can tell when she's beautiful as long as you don't have drool running out of the side of your mouth? Because what if you just recently had a stroke and you can't control that side of your face? Is it still creepy or is that just medically acceptable? Is this just Inferno Titan? It is just Inferno Titan. Huh. I knew you were going to ask that. We were going to get... Wow. That's that's something right there. My Garrick. All right. Now is the time. Okay. Well, that's not what we're looking for here. Also not great. Four lands, guys. Four lands. This is... Uh... All right. Well... So uncomfortable right now. Are you on a podcast? I was, I've been on multiple podcasts. Oh god, Inferno Titan is such a scumbag. Well, I guess they have to choose. Oh god. Yeah, me and Ali Antrazi did a podcast called um, Freshly Brewed. I did a podcast with John Medina, John Wade, and Trick Jarrett years ago called Untapped. I'm uncomfortable with this board today. Crutch Jr., have a good night, buddy. Off to make some money at work until 6 a.m. Jesus, dear God. It's not reasonable. Oh, you're gonna... You're just gonna braid my little wolf, I guess. Well, then. Why do you have so many lands? Stop drawing land. To be fair, I one of them is a Thran Dynamo. So, you know, it's basically the same thing. Did they only kill one? Did they go face? But there's two planeswalkers. I don't understand. I will be on tomorrow and Friday. Yes. Oh, wow. They tefried my Marari's Wake. Talk about... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five. Wow, this is actually kind of sad because we can go... So here's what we can do, right? One, two, three, four, five. We play Marari's Wake. Then we get one, two... Oh, this isn't the untapped Garrick anyway, so it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're just dead to this stupid idiot. Wow, we have six mana and a tooth and nail. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, 
Interesting. Yeah, so even if we make a wolf, they can go shoot it for two. Or shoot it for three, I guess, because they'd have to. So we take six, seven, eight, nine, and then this just kills us. Yeah, maybe they don't see the line. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Wow, Teferi bouncing this is just bonkers, especially because they had the planes to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Even if we had like the untapped Garrick, we just only have eight mana. We're like one shy no matter how you cut it. If we go one, two, three, four, five, Marari's Wake, we make one, two, untap two, three, four, five, six. Nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. We're just gonna. I yeah, I think the yeah. Meh. Eh. What are you gonna do? I still think that was fun. So a lot of times, like people are like, play to your outs, play to your outs. But I'm like, hey man, I play to my time. My time is more important. I, it's I, you know like if I could sit here for two more minutes and hope my opponent uh, doesn't see that he can attack with his one creature on board and then also activate the ability of his one artifact on board, then, you know, I'm just going to concede anyway and assume that it's, that it's going to happen. They may have accidentally F6. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Now we're playing old wire rat. My buddy Garrus and I are going to be streaming some cube on the first on his Twitch if you want to come by. That would be, that would be all right. I'm a big fan of the cube. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for. That turn two Ugin, my dudes. Wire rat is the name I gave my grandma's wire hair fox terrier. Wow. That makes sense. That's on brand. Crutch Jr., have a good night, buddy. Oh, we got a big fan. And that was how I lost. Disenchant the elf. Solid. Patrick Mahomes, you idiot. Unbelievable. Turn four Jace would have been nice. I agree with you. Is there any way to change my name? I kind of like Mahomes now. <laughs> okay, see, that's funny. You know, I'm kind of regretting this name, guys. I, uh, he's not so bad. All right, we're just going to play that and then pass the turn. This Garrick should make short work with both of these guys, right? Just kill them both. Pack one pick one channel uh, over a yeah there's yeah channels a uh, pack one pick one windmill slam. If you can pack one pick one a channel, it's just basically power. Guys, I really want to play some Bioshock, but I can't play it till till Mike is around, and that's just sad. <sighs> we 
can you do? Oof. God damn. That's brutal. That's brutal. Pack one pick a manicure or mox ruby. Um. I don't know. That's tough. It's probably Mana Crypt. I... But I've also never died to a Mox Ruby. So I don't know. My concern is if this is if this is a Den Protector, we kill the Leovold. They draw a card and they can just get Leovold back next turn and also cast it again. And then I, that's just feel bads. That's like the biggest feel bads you can experience. Thank you. I think we just have to win to abandon this guy. I mean, like, can we wait? Do we have the luxury of waiting? Maybe. Boost pudding. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. 17 months. Good lord. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there was actually a time where I passed an ancient team just because I had mana crypt already, and I was like, that's not the life I want to live, guys. I just don't want to deal. I just don't want to deal with any of their guys. I don't want to target your guys with anything. This is this is each, so it doesn't. It no longer targets if you if you overload it, which is nice. That's the ideal scenario. Did your opponent Oko your El your Moxery into an Elk and then control magic it? That seems like a far-fetched story. I am dead inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Well, this is the life we've chosen, guys. It's got a blue and a white. They have a Leovold in play. Should I just bring in my Leovold too? Is Bioshock the new non-magic stream? Yes. Yeah, we're playing Bioshock Infinite. We're two parts in. Good gravy. Mm, boy. Just bringing a shield and, and just, just, just running with it. I don't even care. I don't even care about your stupid... Your double black casting cost. You know, if I could draw, if I could draw Oath of Druids as frequently as I draw the creatures, yeah, all right. You know what? This is fine. When is Mike home? I want to wish him a happy birthday. Well. It'll probably be a while. Muggles, don't let your babies grow up to play magic. 
That's a song I just wrote. Is there a code I can use to get a good deal of cool stuff games? Yeah, you can use you can use promo code Frank5 to get 5% off your purchase. Look at my greaves. Look at my greaves, and these greaves are amazing. Oh, Jesus. Really? This is how you're going to do me? Sponsored. Sponsored content. Oh, the Druids. Well, that's okay. That's okay. I kind of want a banishing like this, I'll be honest with you. The alternative is them, like, playing Leovold next turn, and then we never get to banishing light anything to any, for any value. Uh, oh, oh, oath of druids. Here it is. Shit, that's not. No, don't like that. What's the equip cost of the shoes you showed us earlier? It's only zero. It's a low equip cost. Are you talking about these Yeezy Boost three fifties? I mean, you obviously are. Um. We're not going to do anything with this bird. I don't care about this stupid bird. I am dead inside. <laughs> What's a easy... <laughs> Brad, I feel like you're joking only because you spelled it the exact correct way. And I feel like it was your first time hearing the word easy. You'd probably be like, what did he say? I don't understand the word that he said. Come on, Oath of Druids, right off the top, one time. Biscuits. Biscuits. Hey guys, just a just a quick just a quick check. Does um, balance get rid of planeswalkers too, or or no? Nah? I really just don't understand sneaker people. Here's the thing, I didn't understand sneaker people either, right? And then I saw some sick ass Jordan ones. Jordan ones are like the OG, like. Let's see if I have some Jordan. I can go get some. Hold on, hold on. Let me go grab some Jordan ones for you. Hold on, I'll go this way. Hold on. Can you guys see me? No? Okay. Okay. So, I never got sneaker people either. I was like, I don't get it. They're just shoes. Like, whatever. Cool, right? Uh, no blocks. Then, I saw some Jordan 1s, right? And I was like, those look super sweet, man. Those are That's a good looking shoe. And then I was like... I want to get I want to get a pair of those. I want to see if they fit. I want to see if like that tells Frank's trade talking about what what Jordan ones are like. There's like new there's like three new pairs of Jordan ones that get released every month, man. And so I got some Jordan ones, and I was like, these are fantastic. These this is a great the shoe has a great silhouette. You can get them in tons of different colors, and um, we can't do anything here. We lose a land and a card. I'm just going to pass here. Can't do anything. And so eventually, I just started like appreciating shoes, like for like not even just the, the aesthetic, but like for the artistry of them. Like there's actually a bunch of like, what, like different color shoes are known as colorways, right? So this is what's known as a Jordan 1 bread. It's black and red, and it's based off the original uh, Michael Jordan colorway that uh, that he wore in his games, in, like, the early games when the shoe first came out. And he actually got fined, like, 
I don't know, I think it was like $5,000 a game because you can't, because the shoe didn't have enough white in it. So like he wore the shoe and it, he wasn't a- allowed to wear it. It wasn't like legal to wear. So they would fine him every game and Nike would pay for the fees because he was wearing new Nike shoes and, and promoting them. Um, so like there's, there's like a cool history behind sneakers and there's also like, there's like kind of an artistry almost. Like there's a bunch of different collaborations with like not only artists, but like, you know, fashion icons and things like that. And it's just kind of cool because you can literally find sneaker styles that fit your like, you know, personality that fit your aesthetic, like whatever, you know? So like, you know, it's, it's interesting. Cause I didn't think I was a sneaker person either, but then like I started like getting sneakers and I was like, now I'll see a pair of sneakers and I'll be like, those look sick. Those look awesome. Um, and there's just so many different varieties and different kinds. And like, it's, it's just hard to not like sneakers for me anyway, because like the variety is just so nice. People used to get robbed for Jordans all the time. Jordans used to be hot commodity items for sure. For sure. Come on land. Fifth land. I only wear Dr. Scholl's with large amounts of arch support. Well, you could put like some Dr. Scholl's insoles into any shoe. Jordans and starter jackets. Yes, dude. Starter jackets are also hot shit back in like the 80s and early 90s, man. Okay, so I guess we're just going to keep on passing. Oh, boy. I can feel our Oath of Druids getting worse. Well, I mean, they are, like, they are, when you're in the, like, I feel like when you're in the environment, like, when you're in the hobby or whatever, if you want to call it a hobby, they're called sneakers, right? You're called, they're called sneaker heads, you know? So, yeah, like, if you guys didn't understand, if you guys don't understand sneakers, like, it's funny because I showed these Yeezys off earlier, like, at the beginning of the stream, and, um... They're super green, as you can tell from the chroma key. Which I'll take off just so you can guys can... For those who are, are here now. They're like... They're they're super green. So I can like... There's no... There's no real way to like... There's no real way to like... Like make them less bright, I guess. But... Yeah, so that's what got us talking about the... About shoes, I guess. So... Did they turn my greaves into a dude? That's rude. This kills enchantments too, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. We're called sandal sockheads. The the converse the conventions are are lit. <laughs> oh man. You know, I bet they are. I bet they are. Oh, this is a real pain in the in the biscuit hole. memory jar too huh? what's even happening right now I feel like we're just gonna hit this Oko your room doesn't always look like magic online no it does oh I think I know why that happened here for some reason the gain just the exposure just automatically went up for some reason yeah, okay, that's better. Well, now they're going to have to deed for five, which leaves them with just an Oko, and then they lose their memory jar if they do that. Like the song, but shoes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're telling me you're not really in the game? No, I would never tell you that. I should have played the wake first because plus one, plus one. That's just the, that's a professional play. But guys, we're talking about shoes. And, you know, I'm laughing at the chat jokes and I'm trying to figure out how to win this game when we don't have any way to really take advantage of Marari's wake. You had any delicious glass pies today? No, no, I did not. I did not have any. 
which is probably for the best, really. Look at Tastes like a crazy. It's a lot of uh, a lot of elks here. He's just like a little bit like the shoe versions of hovercrafts to me. I can totally see that. It's because they have the big boost. Okay, so for those who don't know, Adidas has okay, so this is gonna be like an Adidas um this is gonna be like a shoe a shoe a shoe commercial, right? Okay. I have another pair of boosts right here, right? These are just this is just an Adidas boost. Boost is this big fluffy insole. And it's made with just a bunch of like a bunch of basically like polyurethane bits that are crushed together and it makes for like a super comfy experience. Like it's a super comfy shoe. Um, so if you guys haven't tried like Adidas Boost, Boost, you should definitely give them a try because like it's an extremely comfortable shoe. Um, and so all the Yeezys are called Boosts because they have the same like, you can see the the boost technology in the bottom. I'm, not, I'm sorry if this is getting off track for you YouTube viewers, but hopefully you guys will learn something. But like on the bottom, you can see the boost, like you can like, you know, you can see it. It's got like, there you go. That's better. And so like the whole base, the whole, the whole bottom is like boost technology. And uh, so it's, it's basically super, super comfortable is the point. So these aren't just like shoes that are like, hey, these are just fashionable. These are completely fashion over function shoes, right? Yeezys are actually known for being really, really comfortable because of their, because of their boost. If opponent used Oko to make Banishing Light into an Elk, would they get their creature back? No, they would not. Uh, especially because you cannot turn enchantments into creatures. So... Your mom has a big boost. Maybe. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Do you know Mike B's favorite adventure episode of Adventure Time? I have no idea. I <laughs> there's no. I have no idea. Oh, sweet memory jarred here. Okay. Well. So yeah, if you guys are if you guys are looking for a super comfortable shoe, a, a super a super comfortable sneaker that is, um, I would personally recommend checking out any sort of boost. Five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. We have tooth and nail. We have balance. Huh. Well, well, well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have only have ten lands though, so we can't. So if we balance We could go balance Sundering Titan. It gets rid of three lands, most of their creatures. And we get to attack their Oko. Hmm. This is interesting. We can also Tooth and Nail. Put into play Shieldred and like Ashen Rider. Let's attack first, see what happens. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Sneaker Talk. Uh, we can't balance into tooth because well we can balance into tooth and not like actually that's not bad so we have one two three four five cards we have to discard one card but they would lose 
four creatures. And then we can Tooth and Nail, put into play, Shieldred, Sundering Titan, kill three lands, and one of our lands. Thwok, specifically, like, put your curmudgeonry aside for a second and let me know, like, le legitimately, what, what are you confused about? Wait. What? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Fascinating. All right, now we're just doing this. Oh, one, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're just going to get these in our hand. We're going to play Ashen Rider and Shieldred here. Ashen Rider is going to kill Oko. Okay, so here's the thing. Vok, here's the thing about your sentence. You said, I just don't get paying much for a pair of shoes you don't need. Okay, so your your use of the word need is very interesting to me because, like Brett said, we play a game with expensive cardboard rectangles. I can't say nothing about sneakers, practical or not. Like, the thing is, like, fashion is a legitimate, like, like, I want to say it's an interest, but it's also, a, a, like, a necessity. Like, having a bare level of fashion is, is a necessity, right? You have to buy clothes. You have to buy shoes. You have to buy pants. You have to buy shirts, right? So, there's, there's like, the, the you can just choose which ones you want, right? And be like, hey, I'm going to buy these nice shoes because I really like them and they speak to me. Or, like, they represent me and I like expressing myself through my shoes. Or you can be like, I'm going to spend 100 bucks on a play set of Okos, right? And, like... It's just the difference in, like, where you place your appreciation, right? Like, I get to wear these shoes pretty much every day. Whereas, like, I have two dual lands just sitting over here that I got from CoolStuffInc.com. Two Tigas. They're just sitting in sleeves, right? But, like, I have shoes over here that I could just go wear like, I have to go to the store, I'll just wear these shoes, right? Like, so it's there's a practicality to these that there isn't in things like magic cards, necessarily. I mean, yeah, obviously magic cards are practical, you can use them, but I guarantee you if you buy a pair of shoes, you're going to use those shoes more frequently than you would a specific magic card. You know what I mean? Like, that's pretty good. I mean, we're going to wipe their whole board here and then attack for a billion, right? Yeah, so you decided your money was better spent on magic. And, like, for me, like, I get a lot of enjoyment out of buying cool shoes. You know, like, that's cool to me. Um, So let's just Winds of Abandon. One, two. But it's like, the, the thing that's weird to me, like, I totally get that. Like, you want to choose it on magic, I'll choose it on shoes, like, whatever, right? Like, I, I have different hobbies, obviously. But it's the thing, like, you, I, I feel like you should at least be able to understand, as someone who buys magic cards, who is one of the, like, the one of the most, like, frugal expenses, you, not not frugal, but, uh like, what's the word I'm looking for? How much is this, 13, 17? We'll put you to one here, and then, like, you just have to pernicious deed. Frivolous. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, right. So, like, magic cards are, like, one of the most frivolous luxury items you can get. Right? Like, as far as hobbies go. Like, anyone can spend 60 bucks on a video game. But, like, to have... To, to play Magic the Gathering, which is one of the most, like... Consistently pricey games. Like, every three months I have to buy a new set. Every three months I have to keep up with the metagame. Every, every three months I have to do this or that or this. Right? Like... 
you can't really look at magic when that's your like your your disposable income right like that's that's the thing you spend your money on and then like not understand shoes which also like have a, a functionality that is that is a that serves a greater purpose than magic cards i would say you know what i mean like This guy's coming down. Yep. It's got to be done. That was rough because we kind of forced their hand, but I don't know what we can do with Consecrated Sphinx staring us down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could just play this. We could also balance here. I guess we can just wait till they play a creature, though, right? It's five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. We have seven. You're never going to accidentally walk in dog poo with your play set of thoughts. Yeah, but you're also never going to accidentally throw your pants in the washer with your shoes on them. So, you know. Hmm. This is interesting. I really hope I just don't... I really just hope I don't draw a blue source here. Oh, that harmonizes interesting. Because now we get to... No blue source. Gideon's Dees. So they can't really do anything. These aren't castable. If they cast Balance, it's just worse for them. Uh, they can't cast Ancestral. They can just play our Gideon. Like, this is actually a pretty decent turn. <laughs> like, we can't do anything. All right. Wow. So we get to untap and then cast Balance. Get rid of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. four lands. Like two cards and an Emrakul, and then play a Gideon afterwards. That's pretty good. I guess we'll play the Gideon first. What up, Mediocre Magic Man? How'd you enjoy it? Star Wars is great. Oh, Star Wars Cube. Interesting. I thought we were talking about Fallen Order, which is also a great game. Well, this doesn't do anything because then I just get to untap and. Oh, what they could have done was act like play Gideon, activate as a creature, and then balance, just to save their Emrakul. But all right, discard three, get rid of a bunch of lands, Emrakul. I'm a shoe head and Adidas are king and comfort. Yeah, for sure. Boost technology is is something else, man. Oh, they discarded Emrakul. That's interesting. Is that a time spiral in this deck? What is even happening? Are they like low-key trying to like... Trying to mill us? I don't understand. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, right. That was pretty good. I mean, they lose three cards. I mean, they still have five cards in hand. Karn. That's pretty good. Yep. That's a dude. I need to land off the top here. That's that'll do as well. Could have actually disenchanted the O-ring in response just so it never gets taken.
Disenchant the elf? What does that mean? Interesting. We're at five? Wow. I don't even know where our life total went. Okay, Everflowing Chalice for zero. Are they just going to tendril this? Is this real life? I mean, we're definitely not dead. We have disenchant for the lightning greaves. I mean, they're getting an artifact, right? So I'm probably just going to kill the artifact they get. Just depends on what it is. Like, worm coil is a good one. Uh. Nah. Dude, after all our shoe talk, we still have 13 minutes to their five minutes. That's kind of funny. Land one time off the top so I don't die. Uh, that's still death, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we disenchanted here, now we'd still be at three, so we'd have to get rid of both of the dudes. Um, yeah, this is stupid. Yep, that's going to do it. All right, well, we tried. <sighs> what can you do thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons josh i appreciate the stipulation hopefully we did it did it justice even though we uh drew oath of druids not a lot what can you do we tried thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons i'll see you next time check out coolstuffinc.com every week every wednesday i have a new article go today check it out today check it out check out the coolstuffinc.com i'll see you later